Okay, today I'm going to make a very simple and quick chicken tortilla soup. Now, just because it's quick and simple doesn't mean it's not going to be very tasty. I'm going to make sure that it tastes really good. But now, let me get to, first let me get this water going. I've got some water going here. And what I've got is I've got a rotisserie chicken that I've got from a, from a grocery store. You know, you guys know what they are. Uh, pretty common. They work really good for putting together quick meals. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shred the meat off this chicken. I'm going to put the meat in the bowl and all the bones are going to go into my water. And so I'll be making a stock while I'm prepping all my other ingredients. So anyway, I guess you guys don't really need me to, need to watch me shred up a chicken. And you've probably all seen that before. Okay, second step. I've got some uh, corn tortillas and I've got a pan heating up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to toast these things on both sides. I've kind of got the pan shoved over to one side, letting this other pan heat up, making my stock. Okay, I can see my tortilla starting to puff up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and flip this thing over. I think I'm going to turn my heat down a little bit for the rest of them. Yeah. And we just keep cooking them like that. Okay, so prepping my tortillas, I'm going to take and I'm going to use three of these in my soup. And what I'm going to use that for is a, like a thickening agent, how they used to use bread, stale bread. I'm just going to kind of dice the, this up a little bit. Just like if you were going to make migas. these in the bowl, let them cool down a little bit. I don't care what shape they're in really, I'm just chopping them up so they're easier to blend. Now this one, I'm going to make strips out of this. So I'm going to square it off and all my strips will be nice and even. Yeah, because I think about things like that. All that extra trim goes in the bowl. Now, I'll take this, cut it in two, so that I get pieces that are manageable on the spoon. And we'll cut them into nice thin strips. You can make thicker ones if you want to, but I like the small, thinner ones, because then they're a little easier to eat. Next step. Got an, an onion. It's not, you know, how do you s say what size an onion is? I mean, it's, this isn't quite a small onion. It's not quite a medium onion. So I guess it's kind of in the middle. What I'm going to do, peel this thing. And I'm going to dice it up. I'm going to dice this cilantro up real fine, but first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the stalks off. And I'm going to take a few of my stalks. And really, this is all dependent on you if you like cilantro or not. If you don't like cilantro, don't do this. I'm going to throw a couple of these in my stock pot. Anyway, I'll dice that up. Okay, we've got a couple things we need to get going here. Got my pot going, warming up. I'm going to put about a tablespoon or so of oil in there. Coat the bottom of my pan. And we're going to put our onion in there. And we're going to soften that onion up. But I'm also going to do that. While I'm doing that, I'm going to put in here half a teaspoon of cumin. I'll be sure to put that in the oil. We'll 
to soften that onion up. Okay, now onions are starting to soften up. I've got a can of black beans. Dump everything in there, the juice, everything. I've got one can of whole kernel corn. that in there. Now I've got a 16 ounce jar of salsa and that's a medium heat. You can use mild if you want or you can use hot, fire, whatever. Hey, it's your soup man, make it the way you want it. Now we're going to let this start heating up. We're going to bring it to a simmer. Okay, now one thing I'm going to do I'm going to put one teaspoon of, of dry oregano, this is the Mexican oregano, in my soup. Put you over there. Now, in the blender, put about three cloves of garlic that I've sliced up. You can use more or less. And then I'm going to put some tortillas drips in here. I'm going to do this in two batches because I'm using a small blender. And I'm going to take one adobo chili with a little bit of adobo. We'll put that in there. It's a chipotle chili. I'm going to take some, some of my chicken stock that we've made. Now this is hot, so be sure you got your lid on, you got it covered. Yo, it is hot. Wow, that's not covered too good. Here we go. There we go. We have the mess all cleaned up. We've got the rest of our tortillas blended up and in here in the pot. And uh, as you see, that looks like a pretty good soup there. We still got to put our chicken in there. What we're going to do put our chicken in here. Put it all in there the white meat and the dark meat. I mean, the whole thing. Don't want to waste any of that. We're going to turn this heat down. Basically, everything's just about cooked. I'm going to need a little more liquid in there. Just keep adding liquid to the consistency that we want. Give us one final stir. Now, I don't think this is going to need any salt because I used a lot of canned products and everything. But what I'll do is I'll let this cook and then right before I serve I'll check the salt level. But I'm going to let this simmer for about 30 minutes. Okay, so dinner's done. Go ahead and we'll turn the heat off, give it a final stir. Now while this is simmering you need to come by and stir it once in a while to make sure that all your uh, pieces of tortilla don't sink to the bottom and start sticking. That would not be good. Anyway, got a bowl. We're going to squeeze a little bit of lime in there. Put some of our tortilla shells on the top here. A little bit of cilantro. And that's it. So, how does it taste?
Mm. Not bad for a quick, easy meal. 